Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Weaves of Waves. How are you doing today? Oh, it's a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. And yes, it's been a couple of bright, sunshiny days here. So, whew, it's uh, the heat sometimes is enough for me. <laughs> I, I actually can deal with the heat. It's the brightness. The, my, I can't deal. My, my eyes just water. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to cover up because I'm so fair, I just burn. I freckle and burn. So yes, my melatonin is scattered, so I end up with freckles all over the place. So yeah, I stay away from the sun these days. It's not my friend, but I do enjoy the heat. I enjoy not being cold. And yeah, I have a, a little plunge pool, so I can just go and plunge myself into some icy cold water. Well, it feels icy cold. It warms up pretty quick. And it's just like, ah, oh, I can sit in the water for hours and hours and hours. It's lovely. But yeah, it's, it's summer and yeah, the things, things are growing, things are, we've got little tiny apples on the trees and yeah, um, I may have mentioned I needed a place to live. So I needed to move and it's not an easy thing to do in this country because, oh dear, yeah, there's like bureaucracy up the, up the yin yang, it's literally. So what I did, was the other day um, I did a little spell. Now spells are, yeah, they're in the, on television. You can whoop, hang on, still driving. Let's let the tractor go by. Um, spells in the in the movies. The spells, you know, usually have people reading from books in Latin, or you've got bell, book, and candle. You've got earth, air, fire, and water on an altar, and you summon in the elements, and you summon in the creatures that you would like to assist you in your spell but you know you are, you can bypass all that <laughs> you really can um, I've done a couple of them recently just to sort of shape my life I'm I'm a firm believer that we create our own reality wait 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 that's why I slow down while going around corners because you never know what you're gonna meet but if you create your own reality then therefore you can put your intention out to the universe and I found the more that you do it the more it works really well um, I still panic, I still get into, yeah, I still put my head up my own ass, sort of trying to, oh my god, it's not working out, what am I going to do? It's like, let that emotion pass, let the panic go, and then you just think about it, and think, okay, well, how do I want this to look? Whoa, 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 now the tractor, cheap as I choose my times. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, yeah, the, how do I want my life to look what do I what are the choices I want now if you are too narrow it's it becomes impossible if you specifically want this 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 and this it, it doesn't you've got a lot of other people's um, yeah projections to work with and you have the rules of the world so in other words sprouting wings and flying isn't going to happen because that's out that's not within the rules of the world if the rules of the world changed and you could do that then there'd be no reason why you couldn't i mean there's that sort of level it's like gravity um you have to respect the fact that you know if you jump you're going to fall and hit the ground um so those that's one of the fundamental rules of the world let's just stop here there we go so if you want to do magic and the tv has really messed up an awful lot of this stuff um all those silly programs yeah they annoy me they did annoy me i mean they're fun okay get over it but it's it's still like it's not work. it doesn't work that way it, if you want to curse somebody you just focus your attention and curse them now you have to watch out because you are pushing against them personally so have you checked them out fully it's like weapons you know if you've got a sword and you're hitting a shield you have to work out the you know the sharpness of your sword versus the strength of the shield that you're about to hit because if you hit the shield wrong you break your sword or break your arm um, and you're in trouble if you hit it right you shatter the shield so there is a skill set needed so don't get me wrong it's not like waving a magic wand because <laughs> all of that it does it, it puts you in a, wor a world where you feel that magic doesn't work so can I say that TV is kind of like a, a really really bad thing to shape your worldview around 
um, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Because it puts you, you look around and you think, well, magic doesn't work then, because it doesn't work like it works on the TV and the movies. So, does magic wands work? Well, that depends on you. You need something, sometimes you need something to focus. When you are beginning, a beginner in focusing, um, kind of needs something to focus to project your intent. But you can do it just as well with your finger. <laughs> You can point, that's how it was done, you know, you point and suddenly your intentions are, are there So, and, and projected. So yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of screwed up myths and legends on that have, that have filtered down and people have turned them into religions. It's really quite crazy out there. Um, I can call myself a witch, but hey, I'm not one of those. <laughs> but it's the same sort of thing. I can call myself a vampire, and I'm still not one of those. <laughs> so yeah, the labels like everything else, you know, from feminism to liberalism to right, right wing to left wing, l labels are, are, are screwing us over. Um, defini definition, defining yourself. Defining yourself is all very well and good, but you know what? It puts limits on who you are and what you can do. If I call myself a witch and people start thinking that, you know, you can do all the Sabrina stuff, it's like, <laughs> nah, don't think so. And just like um, if I call myself a vampire, am I um, um, immortal, undead? Nah. So I imagine it works the same for liberalism, capitalism, democracy, <laughs> feminism, certainly. Um, it's just, there's something wrong with the way that we are forced to define ourselves, it's simple as that. So when I do magic, when I actually do my magic, I don't require outside influence. I don't require things. Now, once upon a time I did, and I used to put tables together at table, and on the table I put a, a piece of paper, like a cloth, um, and on there I would write my intent, and then I would gather earth, air, fire, and water, which is the elements around us, uh, ether, representing spirit and um, the spirit realm and also sort of antimatter if you like um, and yes you could have your your dagger and your, your cup uh, representing masculine and female work it out um, <laughs> so yeah that was the standard standard spell things now when I had children I stopped putting altars together because children like knocking over things and oh mummy a knife no put it away <laughs> that's mine put it down <laughs> so yes it's it's a lot easier with children not to have an altar so I learned to build them in my mind you can build them in your head it's it you know your head doesn't know They've done studies about people running races and um, your heart beat and your everything else. If you imagine yourself running a race, um, it's just the same as running the race on, cert on a certain level. All right. Now, I'm not saying that the body doesn't do its thing, but what I'm saying is the thoughts create your reality. So your imagination is where you need to strengthen to do this. So you imagine, you imagine your altar and you imagine projecting a putting a circle out a circle is usually just so that you are influenced only by yourself there is certain entities that are attracted to to you when you do this sort of uh, thing right now they just could come and sit and watch like oh look a nice bonfire let's sit and um, sit by the fire um, certainly there is an element of that but there are other things that like to interfere and they can just fuck right off so a circle is very useful um, never make it white because as I said before a bonfire in the middle of the night attracts lots of things so white light to me is crazy unless I'm out feeding <laughs> unless you are wanting to attract the nasties to feed off them there is that but on the whole sort of I like the purples and the blues because it sort of mutes me into the background so you don't really want other creatures to be around most of the time sometimes again it depends on your intention to what you are trying to do um, so yeah you put you sort of a cloak over you and then you go inside in a meditation state and you put your intention into your will so you kind of like this is what I want it to look like and you give it leeway so in other words this flexibility it can't be fixed and it <sighs> 
people can do fixed, but I, obviously I work again. I don't like working against the flow. I, I prefer what are the potentials and work to my highest potential rather than working against everything. If you are cursing, if you are bringing negative things to people, that is certainly going against the flow, but it's also within the potential. Um, karma, karma's a bitch. But you can work, you can work on, with karma and make things happen. <laughs> and it, it is working with the flow of things. So the idea is to work with the Tao, is to work with the flow of how things are going. Um, however, potential is quite wider than you think sometimes, especially, yeah, especially for just an individual. If you've got a, a spell that you're doing for an individual, it's not that hard to find all their potential. What potential things can they achieve? Where can they go with this? If they're looking for love, if they're looking for um, a new job, a new house, uh, the, the, the standard basic ones, just because they can't see the choices doesn't mean to say the bigger picture can't. So the bigger picture can look around and find a whole bunch of potentials that you didn't see. So, and also if you weave that in, so you're kind of putting a, a weave together, um, a loom. So your loom is putting the, the different colors. What would you like to achieve with this spell? What is the wide, broad, general outcome? Worst thing that can happen is nothing, okay? So things continue as they are. I like that one. Um, best thing that can happen, and you give them a choice, multiple choices, because the world, the universe has other influences. Other people are putting their wills out there, and then there is the group uh, mind, which I go up against quite a lot. And quite frankly, the group mind these days sucks. Um, so you've got to weave around all the fear shit that's going down right now. So it's not an easy time to sort of cast your own will. So I've done it a couple of times, um, and yeah, sometimes it's just to sort of ruffle feathers a bit and bring something to the surface. I don't like stuckness. Chaos is very easy just to put a, a little tiny bead of chaos and make things move. For the bent, best. You try, you know, try but for the best, but you know, sometimes when you throw chaos into the mix, there is a little time where things like, oh my God, what have I done? That's part of the parcel. Um, but when you work with chaos, it has the ultimate seed of order. And I'm a great fan of order. I work with chaos, but I prefer order. I, I'm definitely, you know, I prefer the, when things are in patterns and straightforward. So yeah, the spells focused, imagined, and then put into, it's almost like um, you put it into a mold. Of course, there's lots, as I said, there's lots of variables to it. So you, you add in all the different potentials and then you put it into a mold and put it out there and let go. And the more you do it, the faster it happens. <laughs> So the other day I wanted to move. I, I needed a, we needed a move, let's go, come on, we need a space. Let's put things to mo motion. <laughs> I get how my partner's found one. It's like, okay, that was quick. Now, if you work it out, he actually found one about 10 to 15 minutes after I did the spell. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, okay, it's not set in stone. We still, you know, the potentials and probabilities are still there. It, it's, it's still in the process. But I can say that I'm, I, I feel good about it, you know? It, it feels good. We both feel good about it and like, right? Cat will be happy, should be happy. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of relieved, but I'm also bubbly over. It's like there's a new adventure happening. So, magic spells, it's not how it is in the movies. Really, really, really isn't. And you have to learn the basics. You have to uh, learn how to do the earth, air, fire, water, and the summoning of the watchers, and you have to keep yourself safe, and you have to be able to focus and imagine your intention and you have to understand working with the flow rather than against it. So all those little things, they have to be practiced. Absolutely, there is no working with this without practice. But for little tiny things in life, in your own life and those around you, 
yeah it, it's not hard you can push you can make a little shove at something and get it spinning in the right direction and that's fun for me and I'm pleased because I've got another adventure happening and it all seems to be working out so yeah I will leave you with that hang on a second we've got a truck pulling out let me get around that I will leave you with that um, thank you very much for the comment left on my uh, YouTube video the other day um, yeah again tarot reading is just kind of like spell working once you've learnt it you don't actually need the tarot 100% but it makes other people comfortable I've always found when you're reading someone and if you just spill it off um, they get a little worried about you so if you can say ah well the, the cards are telling me this <laughs> it's kind of a deflection um, but yes you're, you're absolutely right um, any of the tools in the material world magic starts from within 100% so does divin uh, divining uh, readings and stuff it all starts with within I totally agree with you and I'm still reading through the long comment left on my other thing and I would just like to appreciate the long comment of that guy who wrote uh, I don't know if it's a guy whatever he wrote um, quite a long bit on my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it and I'm going through it slowly so each bit I am incorporating I'm glad you like my stuff um, yeah I love you lots take care of yourselves and each other speak to you soon